you ever worked with TypeScript, you definitely heard of Encore, the open source backend framework for building robust type safe applications. Well, it looks like they've officially released a new AI development agent built on Encore's rock solid platform called Leap. Leap is an AI developer agent that lets you build event driven systems and fully functional applications with backend services, APIs, and cloud deployment. From a single prompt, you can create production ready applications in minutes, complete with backend logic, APIs, databases, and live infrastructure. This isn't just a prototyping tool, it's built for real world event driven systems you can trust in production, whether you're integrating APIs, connecting to the existing databases, or setting up a full infrastructure. Leap handles the heavy lifting while keeping you in full control of your code. Just take a look at the quality of output from Leap. This is a Markdown note taker app that was fully generated in a single shot with functional components and having the ability to even save this Markdown locally. This is another app that was built, which is a music streaming app, which actually streams music back live to you. Here is another case where Leap was able to build out a movie streaming platform, which is able to build out all of these different UI components that actually work, where you can watch trailers of individual movies that have been uploaded. Now you may wonder, why use Leap over many of these other tools that are out there like Replit or something like Bolt, B0, or Lovable? Well, unlike these other AI coding agents, Leap isn't limited to front-end prototypes. It's able to build full stack applications complete with backend services as built-in Postgres SQL databases and supports microservices and event-driven architectures. With the single click, which I'll showcase later on in the video, you're going to be able to deploy with cloud services like AWS or GCP. Leap lets developers go from a single prompt to production-ready applications, making it a clear choice over other coding agents. It integrates with your favorite tools like Stripe, GitHub, and so many others. Just simply go ahead and describe what you want to build with plain natural language, and then you can go ahead and send this in. And the best part is you can easily get started with a free account, which I will leave a link to in the description below. And you can see rapidly, you'll be able to see the different agents that Leap deploys working in action to create your backend as well as helping you create the plan that you had proposed to build something like a simple newsletter writing and managing service. So let's now take a look at what it actually ends up generating. And there we go. Just like that, we have a fully functional newsletter writing and management service app where you have the ability to manage your subscribers, adding in new subscribers as in their emails, or even importing it as a list of CSV data. You also have it so that you can create newsletters within this application. And remember guys, this was a simple prompt that I just tested out and it was capable of generating this. And on the bottom, you're going to be able to get a log of whatever is happening in terms of all the different requests being performed on your app. On the left hand side, you can see that there's a scoop prompt to files and folders that you can use. So if you want, you can select a particular file that you want to tweak. For example, if it's the front end, you can tag this overall folder and you can say, I really want to improve this certain section of the UI and I'll do this. So in this case, can you please improve the front end? And then what you can do is simply go ahead and send in this prompt. You can also have it so that you can turn on auto fix so that it is able to work on figuring out and improving different sections of your code. And then you can toggle different models. So in this case, you can use the GPT-5 model or you can use a default model that they have implemented within Leap. And currently it is working on generating a better front end, a better UX and design. And you can actually get a real time view of what is happening. So this is where you can get a good grasp of what it's actually generating in each particular file. And once you have finished generating all of these different components, you can merge the changes. This is where you can save your work and it's going to optimize the AI context and help you keep your token usage efficient, essentially. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And quite rapidly, it was able to build out a new redefined 
Animated Newsletter Management System. And what you'll also see is within the panel, it's saying missing secret key for resend API. This is where within the infrastructure, it's going to be able to collect certain components like API keys to make your app functional with different tools. And this was something that it was able to integrate with its toolkit. This is the capability of Leap where it can implement different sorts of additional tool sets like Clerk as an authentication or payment gateway like Stripe. And you just need to simply provide the API key or the secret value so that you can be connected to your application. The architecture is where you're going to be able to understand the flow of your newsletter app so that you get a better idea of what is happening. Your service log is where you're going to be able to get a good description of what is happening with every individual public event. Oh, and if you want to use a template, you can actually use the community templates, which can help you get started rather than using up tokens on your own to generate something from scratch. But going back into the infrastructure, you have the ability to incorporate an external database. This is where you can connect an external database by providing the connection string. You can also view the compute for the actual service that is running as well as the database server. But now say if we have finished working on our app, you have the ability to go ahead and deploy it. This is where you can merge the changes and then afterwards you can have it so that you can deploy it with the Encore cloud hosting. You also have a custom domain that you can connect with your own private domain, or you can connect to the cloud where this is where you can easily connect with your AWS uh, account or with the Google cloud platform with a single click. For example, if I'm deploying to the Encore cloud, this is where I just simply clicked on a single button. It's gonna then initialize the actual app, build it, so that it's compiling the source code to deploy it on the cloud. The infrastructure will be then deployed afterwards and then I can access it via link and I can share it around with others now. There we go, looks like it has been uploaded to the Encore cloud and now it's accessible via this URL. And this way I can now share it around and have others actually use my app that was created fully by Leap without me even coding anything. And not just that, Thanks to Encore being integrated with Leap, you're going to be able to access Encore Cloud, which is where you can get an overview of the infrastructure. You can trace all the different logs within this. You have the ability to track metrics, and this is a great way for you to get a better understanding of the backend of your system. This is a really impressive feature that has been integrated with Encore, and I highly recommend that you take a look at it because you have the ability to manage everything directly with Encore Cloud. Now, next up, let's actually focus on a functional app that we would actually use, like a note-taking app. This is where I'm telling it to add, edit, and delete notes, that functionality. Also, another functionality of adding a drag-and-drop feature using a modern and responsive UI theme. And what we're also going to do is click on tab to implement the clerk auth for user authentication. This is where we're going to now start to integrate these different tools that are already available with Leap, like Stripe or something like Clerk, or even uploading all of our code to GitHub, which I'll showcase in a bit. But now let's go ahead and build out this task of creating a personal note-taking app. So this is where I'm also using the Postgres database. This is where it's going to integrate its new database structure within Leap and it's going to fully autonomously create all of these components that I'd requested. And you can see mid generation, it had requested me to provide my clerk API key to build and create the front end of the authentication and setting it up with my clerk account. So rather than me going ahead and implementing that on my own, it had set up the whole process and made it functional with my backend. And there we go. Just take a look at this. It built an actual landing page. We didn't even request to build this, but it went along and it actually displayed all the features it has added and it created this pretty cool looking landing page. But now I can click on start taking notes, which will take us to the clerk authentication that it set up all on its own. Now all I got to do is just simply go ahead and sign up with an account. And once you sign up or log in, you're going to be then sent over to our note taking dashboard. This is where you can add in a new note. So I can say something like create a video and then say by 9 p.m. and then create the note. And you can see that it'll take a couple of seconds. It also prompts a notification 
And then it also creates this node that I can actually drag and drop wherever I want. This is the functionality of Leap and it was rapidly able to build this quite quickly. And guys, remember how I said you can integrate with GitHub where you're gonna upload your code? If you click on this button over here, you can connect to GitHub and you can upload your overall code base that was generated by Leap to GitHub, which is gonna make this super accessible to anyone. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And guys, what's crazy is that I've done all of this with the free tier. You can see this right here where I've only was able to develop everything. And guys, what's crazy is that I did all of this with the free tier. You can see this with this banner over here where it says you've ran out of daily tokens. And what's crazy is that I still have so many other tokens available. My monthly token usage is still 64% uh, remaining, which is just insane. This is the capability of Leap where you can easily and rapidly have AI build any sort of production grade application like you saw. This is why I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can easily get started. And this is why I personally find it to be better than many of these other full stack development tools. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join the Patreon. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, share positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.